let's put these spent mushroom blocks to good use. Along with mealworm press. So the goal today, I've got this one done, so I practiced before I'm showing you guys. And also, I'm not an expert at this. If there's something I could do differently or better here, please let me know, because I'm just learning this. Uh, so I'm going to do it to this bed here. I have a bunch of these spent grain blocks from BLH Farms. Thank you very much, the BLH folks. Um, so I'm going to take those, and I'm just going to squash them in the bag. I'm going to step one in the bag uh, outside of the bed here, and then just empty it and use the rake to move it around. So here we go. All right. Pretty straightforward. Now, I accidentally left these out in the rain, and so they're a little bit wetter than they were when I got them. All I'm doing is stepping on them in the bag to break them up, taking the opening in the top, it's already there, Then spread it out. Because of what we have here are just piles, right? So let's spread those out. Easy peasy. Now it's time for the frass. And boom, we're done. I'll throw some water on that just to get it to start soaking in a little bit because it's not gonna rain anytime soon. One thing with the frass is that it's very dusty and you don't want it all over yourself or in your face or in your lungs. So do that to where the wind's gonna blow it away from you. As a side note, I would like to pellet this frass, uh, but I need to test that. So if anybody has a pelletizer uh, and is willing to let me send you frass to pelletize this, you can keep the frass. I just need a little bit of that back to test with once it's pelletized. Um, but then I think that'll make it a whole lot easier to spread, weigh, measure, things like that. So. Uh, but otherwise, it's as simple as that.